for romantic and fantasy. And we can make the war on terror distracting like videos and TV shows with scantily clad women. Cover them with oil. Rub it in like lotion, put F-16s in the skies and battleships in the ocean. The voters won't notice. Tell them you're either with us or you're against us in the same breath over vaccinate our soldiers. They'll want to believe these lies are true to the point that even Cynthia McKinney with proof won't be able to convince them that there's a connection between the war on terror and the call out group. They'll need to believe these, these lies are true. I said over vaccinate our soldiers and code ammunition with radioactive DU. Fear is the final frontier for defenseless. If it's logical, tell them it's senseless. You're either with us or you're against us. It's all about confusion. Name it the Patriot Act if it acts against the Constitution. One man, one vote is a joke. She's more concerned about your family going broke proof. Mirrors. So, now, watch me raise spending and lower taxes. The answer to any question that the 911 Commission might ask is, uh, we believe stem cell research is immoral. North Korea has WMD translation, time for Operation Iraqi Freedom. Sacrifice American lives on Baghdad soil. Earn What's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice American lives on Baghdad soil. <laughs> you don't know it? No. I'm going to do this backwards. I was going to give you a treat, but I'm going to do like a reverse treat. Uh, How about that? Okay. If possible. And for the people who are wondering why I decided to do this instead of through a wedding ring, it's because like I told y'all, I don't even know if I know this one. But you gotta do the ones you don't know because then you got time to bring that shit back with all the shit you know. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it reverse. Armstrong can't park on Congo Square now. Cause they're there now. From canal to the fairgrounds, this government doesn't repair towns, it tears down the self-concepts of descendants of ex-slaves. While ex human Chief Brown still gets paid and George Bush waves in the skies, he flies by in Air Force One and gets close enough to the sun as he can manage. And Barbara Bush whispered the tragedies working out to our advantage and how do you assess the damage when neglected levees let the lake walk to the river walk and talk his jeep so I double up for a PXP and Chief Brown was still getting paid. While the price of oil was rising with the tides and the children of ex-slaves still survive and there is nothing more romantic than fantasy. And we can make the war on terror distract them like videos and TV shows with scantily clad women. Cover them with oil. Rub it in like lotion, put F-16s in the skies and battleships in the ocean. The voters won't notice. Tell them you're either with us or you're against us and in the same breath will vaccinate our soldiers. They'll want to believe these lies are true to the point that even Cynthia McKinney with proof won't be able to convince them that there's a connection between the war on terror and the Carlisle group. They'll need to believe these lies are true over vaccinate our soldiers and the ammunition with radioactive DU. Fear is a final frontier for defenseless. If it's logical, tell them it's senseless. You're either with us, you're against us. It's all about confusion. Name it the Patriot Act if it acts against the Constitution. One man, one vote is a joke. You're more concerned about your family going bro poof. Mirrors. Smoke. Now, now watch me raise spending and lower taxes. The answer to any question that the 911 Commission might ask is, uh, we believe stem cell research is immoral. North Korea has WMD's translation, time for Operation Iraqi Freedom, sacrifice American lives on Baghdad soil. Damn, that was right there, wasn't it? Yeah. Sacrifice American lives on Baghdad. And this is where I get real slick on y'all and just go political 2010. Sacrifice American lives on Baghdad soil. Earn, earn, Benjamin Disraeli said, power has but one duty, to secure the social welfare of the people. And any society in which the poorest of the sick and feeble are allowed to die due to unequal access to health care is inferior. And I'm leery of any democracy in which the Congress is so dishonest as to promise whatever it takes to get elected, but then becomes rapidly disconnected with the things that will keep their voters alive. Like they strive off of donations from health management organizations taking gifts and vacations that obligate them to vote against the best interests of their constituents. How is it that the masses of people in the richest country in the world are not afforded with even the basic level of insurance? When the proper protocol is Medicare for all, but instead we get lost in jargon like public option and single payer. If you're broke and sick in America, then you ain't got a prayer. If you can't afford to write a blank check, then all American doctors got to do was a blank stare. For your aches, 
and your coughs and big insurance can't do anything that Medicare doesn't do, but big insurance companies do it for six times the administrative costs. Even though Congress forces Medicare to purchase prescriptions at a loss. And no one's surprised when healthcare reform transforms into a bill that gets publicly traded insurance companies taxpayers subsidized and still allowed to raise their premiums sky high. It's corporate socialism. And what's saddest about the tea bag is, is that they're in the habit of voting for the people who are most against them. As long as they're against the president. Like, their election, like his election means they were denied suffrage, standing behind Glenn Beck, Sarah Palin, and Rush Limbaugh, and a bunch of other rich people who could care less about the lack of working class medical coverage. Even if it's against their own family, as long as it's anti-Obama, then it's pro something bigots could live with. And the only reason we don't have Medicare for the millions is there are too many powerful people in this country earning billions off of advocating American sickness. Yes. Yes. Seeing how I just like, yeah. 2007. Yeah.